Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to study about atmospheric pollution. This chapter is under ICAC standard 9 syllabus. So let us take an overview of a chapter that what all things we are going to study in this chapter. So basically we will cover what all types of pollution are there on the earth. Some, some sources are from nature and some sources are man-made. Then we are going to study three main topics. First is acid rain, then global warming and ozone depletion. In acid rain, we will learn the causes of acid rain, then composition, how it is made, formation, impact of acid rain on the earth. Then in the topic of global warming, we will study the causes, sources, ways to reduce global warming and some man-made efforts and what we have done till now to reduce global warming. Then ozone depletion. Similarly for ozone depletion also we will study the formation, function and destruction. Basically in this chapter we are covering because of the human's activity on the earth what all type of pollution we have created on the earth and all this pollution have lead us to this three major side effect of those and these are so so harmful that if we will not reduce this then our ecosystem will be in danger so let us start our chapter from the pollution sources so now we will discuss the pollutants and we will discuss the pollutant source natural source means natural activity and natural process will emitate these pollutants and man-made source that means Due to the human activity, due to the man activity, these pollutants are generating in the atmosphere. Now first is, these are the list of pollutants and this pollutants level is really very high in the atmosphere. So that's why it is causing global warming, greenhouse effect, ozone layer depletion and so many harmful effect on our environment. So let us study one by one. First is mist, smoke fumes and dust. This pollutant is generated through disintegration of rock. So throughout this process will carry on through millions and billions of years and due to this activity, natural activity, this pollutants will be generated in the atmosphere. Now man-made activities like we are preparing and manufacturing insecticides and we are spraying insecticides on the crop oil and tobacco smoke and chemical processes are responsible for this pollutants. Second is oxides of sulfur. So under oxides of sulfur SO2 and SO3. These two oxides of sulfur are responsible for acid rain. Under natural sources decay of plants and animal and volcanic eruption will lead to a pollutant of SO2 and SO3. Man-made activity like burning of fossil fuel and sulfuric acid plants, they are generating SO2 and SO3 in large amount. Oxides of nitrogen, NO2 and N2O. So this oxides of nitrogen and NO. So nitric oxide, nitrous oxide and nitrogen dioxide. Those are precipitated in atmosphere through lightning discharge and certain microbes. We know that in legume plants root, the nitrogen fixation bacteria will be there and they are precipitating nitrogen in the soil. So certain microbes are precipitating nitrogen in the soil. Now under man-made activity, automobile exhaust and nitric acid plant and fertilizer manufacturing company are the major sources of nitrogen dioxide pollutants. Then oxides of carbon. Under oxides of carbon, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide are the major oxides of carbons. Natural sources like volcanic eruption and respiration are responsible for their amount in atmosphere. Whereas under man-made activity, the incomplete combustion of petrol fossil fuel combustion and exhaust 
are responsible for precipitation of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide in atmosphere. Now H2S, hydrogen sulfide gas, is generating through volcanic eruption under natural activity and man-made activity like industrial process. So all these pollutants are coming in atmosphere through a man-made activity as well as a natural sources. But if we will see that on an average the share of man-made activity is a huge and is a large. So 70 to 80 percent of pollutants which are generating in the atmosphere are coming from man-made activity and not via natural sources. So in coming videos we are going to study about ozone layer depletion and greenhouse effect and we will see that these pollutants are how much harmful to us and what all measures we have taken to reduce them. So don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing.